Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I just kind of wanted to jump into the video that I want to do today. I have um, my first purchase from ColourPop and it is the Shayla Times ColourPop Perception Palette. So um, there are plenty of reviews of this palette but I kind of just wanted to get on here and play around with it, do a look. I've had this specific eyeshadow palette for a couple of weeks and I have not touched it because I was just waiting and waiting and waiting to do a video on it. So just to give you a synopsis of the palette, it is a 16 um, eyeshadow color palette. It is kind of a little bit rubberized, just a little bit and black, purple, rose gold coloring and then the names of the eyeshadows are on the back. It is made in USA and cruelty free and if you don't know Shayla, she's a makeup artist guru on Instagram and YouTube. I've been following her for a very very long time and I'm very you know excited that she did this collaboration. So that being said, this is what the palette looks like inside. It has a mirror and these are the lovely colors that come with it. You have a little bit of your cool tones, a little bit of your warm tones, a little bit of your shimmeries and mattes and I just kind of, I don't really know what look I'm going to do but I'm going to just begin. So I'm actually going to prime my eyes with this Milani eyeshadow primer and I made chit chat in this process I just I haven't done a video in a very long time and I'm ready to bring it back a lot of times I get home from work and I'm like doll be tired I mean working an eight hour shift and then having to you know take care of the fam it's a little bit more easier in the summer because kids don't have my kids don't have homework but they be dog be tired from summer camp being outside all day, day playing and all that jazz but anyways I am going to go into culture which is this one right here and it's kind of like a tan color and I'm gonna take this fluffy fluffy brush from Sony Kesha a little kink up just a little so yeah this palette was my first purchase with ColourPop I have been looking at ColourPop eyeshadows and lipsticks and all that jazz for a very long time but for some reason I just never pulled the trigger to buy anything I don't know why. I kind of get deterred from buying stuff online that I have to mail back to do a return. So I kind of just spare myself the hassle and don't do it at all. Alrighty. So now I'm going to take this orange color, which is called Thick. And I'm going to put that in my crease area. And I'm glad Shayla likes oranges in her crease because I do too. But anyways, like, a, like I was saying, like um, I get home and I'm like super tired. And by the time I think of something and put all my stuff together, and I just be too tired to videotape but I'm ready to get back in action so I'm using this brush which is a Real Techniques um, deluxe crease brush putting these color all in my crease but I've been watching um, I've been a subscriber of Shayla's for a very long time and uh, I'm super happy to see them work with her when she did her collab with uh, Tarte I got that too the only thing I didn't get was um, the Maybelline collab well that is about it 
So I'm going to take this fluffy brush again and I'm going to go back in the culture, which was that tan color, just to go on the outside just a little bit. I told myself that I was going to do more. Um, get ready with me, talk throughs or whatever because I need to, what is the word? I need to build up my self-esteem in that area. But anyways, now I'm going to take this brush because I'm going to do a dark color because I know everybody's been doing the light colors, the greens, the blues, the rose gold color. So I am actually going to go with this color. It's called Shade and it's kind of like a, a burgundy color with red glitter in it. And this is a brush from Tarte. But um, I do see uh, the addiction that can take place with buying color bop because I only bought like this palette in the Kathleen Lights palette, which you know I really wanted to because you know the palette looked cute and I also am a subscriber of Kathleen now I'm just like oh I want to get more like dude I see where the addiction can take place you feel me And then I love that the shipping is like free over 30. I wish it was, I, knew, I would know like not too long ago it was free over 25. I think. I could be wrong. I wish you can go back to that. But now I'm like, I'm so like, so like wanting to buy more. Like I want the, I want the warm tone palette. I just keep looking over it just because I have a lot of warm tone palettes so I really don't need it but I keep looking at it. I'm going back with my blending brush just to blend out. And this is a super basic look but But you know what, you guys, let's chat. Let's 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 talk. Let's talk. On some seriousness. Let's ah, talk. How are you guys truly feeling about the handling of illegal immigrants crossing the border? I can honestly say that I am thoroughly upset sad and just like disgusted how they went about separating these kids from their mama like it's super in mama family whatever it's super inhumane it is disgusting and it's like being a big bully and at the same time these are not documented children so we have no idea what's happening to them. We don't have their names. They can't speak English. They're being traumatized by this. And in turn could have vengeance towards us or towards the situation or towards people. And then again, you have little kids without their parents. Who knows what sickles who are have alter ulterior motives with this situation is going to do with these kids. So I'm just like, I've been like super bothered by this and the fact that I can't really 100% do anything about it is bothering me too. I know like I think at this point as I'm talking he might be signing some our president might be signing something that is going to help the situation be better but I'm talking in the sense of before he signs or makes anything better I'm disgusted and I'm like I sign petitions and um And pretty much I said like I just been I've been keeping them kids and in my prayers because I'm thoroughly thoroughly upset so now I'm about to take the spill the tea and put that in my inner corner I'm like I'm thoroughly disgusted and upset like literally 
there has to be a better way of handling this situation without without you know what I'm saying making it so traumatic for these little kids because th it wasn't their decision you know what I'm saying they're following their parents or their fam family members you know what I'm saying it's not their decision you know and then we're America where the land of the the dreams and lands a land of inspiration you know what I'm saying so why make the process a little you know user friendly for those who want to experience that dream like my goodness it is not that big of a deal I'm using my Mary Kay um, liquid eyeliner it's kind of drying out on me so I've been pushing it and pushing it and pushing it to keep going baby you gotta keep going so hopefully they get it together and these kids can be back with their family these kids can be back with their family members and you know what I'm saying they can go on with their lives and and hopefully they're not as traumatized as you would think they would be like can you imagine being five years old taken away from your mother or father like dude where is the empathy where is the sensitivity we talk about you know um, Starbucks and their culture sensitivity training and empathy training I think our president and the members, and the members uh, that take up you know political parties should have culture sensitivity and empathy um, training themselves like come on now for the most part everybody for the most part everybody is a descendant of an immigrant here Unless you like pure bred Indian, you're from a descendant who is an immigrant here who wanted a better life or wanted to get away from their situation. So it's disheartening and it's sad and it's annoying to see this be okay with some people like that. I don't even know what his name where he said, um, womp womp when uh, another um, person that was talking about the down syndrome kid being taken away from their family he said womp womp so I mean we get to the point where we have no empathy for nobody like okay if they break in the law make it like you know what I'm saying come on now just just have some heart heart okay so I'm uh, gonna put some mascara on then I'm gonna put my face on and then I'm gonna come back and do my under eye and I'm using Lash Love Mascara by Mary Kay, which is my favorite mascara from Mary Kay. So yeah, I just, I'm being praying for the kids and the families and hoping that the situation gets better. It's better. Like I just love this mascara. I really do. I tried the other Mary Kay's mascara, which they're pretty good too. But this one, this one is my jam. This one is. Ooh, ooh, let me not get too excited with it. guys I am going to put on my foundation which I am using actually all right just so I'm about to apply this to physician formula <clears throat> excuse me okay so I'm going to apply this to physicians formula foundation I have mine in um, DN4 which I don't have neutral undertones I would have opted more for the warm one but they don't sell and my face is already primed 
blonde in my eye. My face is already primed. I primed it before I got in the camera. But anyways, they don't sell the um, the deeper warm one in stores, or at least I haven't seen it. And I didn't wanna. I didn't want to order this online because I just didn't so that is the application of it I am going to have a review of this coming up soon I'm using this uh, foundation brush from Tarte it's from one of their holiday collections so in the camera it looks <laughs> more yellow than in person yeah oh wow gonna use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW35 and this uh, Sonia Cash Shook um, foundation brush So I'm about to use um, this Tarte Smooth Operator Loose Powder to set my under eye. You guys, tell me what y'all think about this situation. Like, legit. And, I mean, what do y'all literally think? Do you think that, you know what I'm saying, that these politicians are right? To do what they did or you know what I'm saying are you in agreement that is pretty wrong and then on top of that to use the Bible as your source of backing up your statement to use the Bible <laughs> to use a scripture to say that it's okay to take kids from their parents I was just like really 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 again okay. really like I'm totally not understanding this whole situation but anyways I'm using this dirty fluffy brush and my Mac studio fix powder to set my face and this is what the color is ask me the name of it we've been here for a while you would know that I don't know and I'm just trying to use it up so I can get rid of it because I've had this bad boy for a long time, plenty, a long time. Now I'm going to go, let's see. I'm going to use my NARS Gina bronzer. Gina, Gina, something like that. And I'm going to bronze my face. Oh, so this bra is driving me crazy. So, I told myself that I was going to do more Get Ready With Me videos, and I'm trying to hold myself to it. Um, just to add a little bit of a different um, component to my channel. Like, for a minute there, I was doing a lot of... My channel started out with a lot of hauls, then I went to reviews. I'm using this Tarte blush. Then it went to a lot of reviews, and then it went to like um, painting and decluttering, which I like to do all of that. But I also feel like I need to throw in more application videos because you talk about makeup, you gotta wear it, right? No, yes, yes, no, no, yes, maybe. Alright, so I'm done with Z face. Face is done. So let's go ahead and finish these eyeballs and then we could be on our merry way. So I'm gonna take this shade. Actually, um I'm not gonna take that shade. I'm gonna take the tan shade first, which is culture. 
I'm not pointing to it right, right here. That was the first shade that I put on. And just a heads up, um, there is some kick up. So, you're going to have to tap the brush. Just tap I'm going to say thick. This is the orange shade. I'm a little blurry. Hopefully I'm not. And then I'm gonna take shade, honey. Shade. Shade, baby. She is so shady. I'm not gonna put that under my entire eye. I'm just gonna do it on the outer third. Okay, I'm gonna take my blending brush just to blend out this outer part right quick. Okay, I'm gonna take this small brush again from Urban Decay. It was in one of the Vice palettes. I'm gonna take Spill the Tea again right here. Spill, she's spilling the tea. She's spilling it. Where is it going? Too blurring. I feel like I am. We're we, we, we gonna work on this. This is this is a learning curve, learning process. The beginning. The beginning. I am going to line my other under eye with this Kat Von D Immortal Love pencil. And a lot of the stuff that I just used is part of my project pen. Eyes underlined, and I already kind of have a lip on, <sighs> but let's just pull just a little bit on, just a little, just a little. It is um Mary Kay True Dimensional True Dimensions lipstick and first blush. I'm just gonna dab a little bit on. Alright guys, um, thank you for joining me for my get ready with me and using my makeup Shayla palette for the first time. Yes, I broke the cherry. Now I can use this mower. But um, I really, I'm again super excited for this palette and I was happy that I can play with it. I love the colors in here. Color scheme is just, just perfect because it has your warm, it has your little bit of your cool, it has your shiny, it has your shiny metallic in your mats and it's like a palette all in one palette that you can take and use it all up versus having like a bunch of them that you have to bring together it's super affordable if i can remember the price i think it was like 22 dollars 23 dollars i will pop up the price on the screen or have it in the description bar but it's super affordable and if you're buying from ColourPop the first time, you should get a $5 off your first purchase. But, anyways, super excited. Eh. Anyways, um, thank you for watching my video. Um, I appreciate it. Um, 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 and come back. Come back. Come back. You know, see the growth in these Get Ready With Me. See them get better. And, uh... I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.